We're we're about to demonstrate this 3D one. Where'd you get this 3D one at? This 3D one noker with the blue tape. Oh man, you gotta uh, get with Paco. Get with Paco. Yeah, he's got the hookup right out of Mississippi. He's got the hot. He's got the hot saw hookup. He's got that. That's what he said. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him talking about that hot saw hookup. So we do have this 3D one warmed up on all serious note. We got it warmed up. It has the Yenba carburetor which three years ago I had a problem with those carburetors never really tuning and adjusting. Is it Was it operator error? <coughs> I don't think so because other people couldn't get them tuned either. But we're about to start that up. And this elm is harder than freaking Rockwell hardness a million. This elm's been sitting here a long time. How long has the elm been sitting here? It's been dead for about five years. Five years solid. Damn, it didn't rot very quickly. I guess you don't rot too easily in this part of the world. Um, but... I guess go ahead and fire that baby up and we'll see what happens. We got it in the right position for the fire up and it is a little bit warm, so that's good. That is exactly fine to demonstrate Perfect. the capability of the Noker chainsaw. And like he said a minute ago, that's five-year-old dried out harder than a freaking rock. Uh, I'm not here to deceive anybody. It's old. <laughs> and that's an old, hard piece of wood. So if that wood was fresh, it'd cut through it more like butter. And we'll do that demonstration some more. But we just wanted to show that that saw powers up and runs just freaking fine. Now... We're going to take that saw apart, and we got some surprises in store for you. And we're going to look at the cylinder. We're going to look at the first new cylinder in my hands, and I got many more to come of the Noker 381. I have already offered 660s, 52s, and 5800s for sale as of August 7th, 27th today. So you can get those. Like, subscribe, share, thumbs up. Take care.